We've got verbal and we have non-verbal ways of displaying our defensive behaviour. Now, the non-verbal passive forms, and this is really open to interpretation. Uh, in, in a full day training, we would do a, a sorting activity around this. And it's the hardest thing to do is to work out what our body language is trying to say, because it very much depends on the scenario. But taken as an individual piece of behaviour and matching it with what the experts would use for non-verbal, Body language experts say that what you see on the screen here is typical passive form. So crossing your arms, looking away, fidgeting a lot, you know, I don't know, clicking your pen, fiddling with the coins in your pocket, whatever it might be. It shows an element of uh, not you're not happy with the situation. You feel a bit nervous. Aggressive nonverbal forms of behavior. Well, obviously, they're quite obvious to see. They make other people feel very uncomfortable and frightened. And we all know what that feels like to be on the receiving end of it. What we must avoid is, is, is giving that aggressive behaviour out. Here's more defensive behaviour, verbal. It's what we say and how we say it. So passive forms. If you, if you start everything with sorry, and I know many people that do that, not because they are sorry, but because they feel that that takes away the sting of the command or the demand that they're going to make. So I would avoid saying sorry where possible because that can be seen to be quite passive. And if you if you pause a lot, you're softly spoken, they are signs of passive verbal behavior. And then obviously the aggressive verbal is when you're swearing, lots of sarcasm, interrupt all the time, trying to dominate the conversation. We know what that looks like, and many of us have been on the receiving end of it, whatever age and whatever scenario, and it's not pleasant. So the thing we're after is to avoid all of those and uh, look at trying to be assertive. So how do you know the difference? Aggressive is if you stand up for yourself but you ignore the rights of someone else. So you make them feel bad in order for you to feel good, yeah? So non-assertion or passive behavior is if you don't stand up for your rights and you make it easy for the other person to ignore them, make themselves feel good. We don't want either of those. This is the de dictionary definition of assertiveness. And it says, well, we stand up for our rights I love that word, don't you? Our rights, needs and beliefs in ways that take account of those of others. So what we're saying is we're going to try and find a win-win. This is this needs to be changed. This needs to happen. Let's get it done. Let's get it sorted without all falling out, without somebody feeling under attack. Because if you feel under attack, you might have an attack back. <laughs> We provide fantastic training courses for teachers, trainers and support staff. Visit the website, we have regular free challenges. It's absolutely free to take part in. Enroll onto one of the wide selection of our titles or visit our online shop. Why not then subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular uploads of informative webinars. <laughs>